Hello everyone, Sharp and Blade here with another video for you. Today we're looking at the Tucson TS191. Some specs on this knife. It has a blade length of 3.46 inches or 88 millimeters, a handle length of 4.92 inches or 125 millimeters, giving it an overall length of 8.54 inches or 217 millimeters. It has a blade thickness of 0 0.15 inches or 3.8 millimeters. So you have to focus here. You gonna focus? There we go. So it's fairly thin for the overall size of the knife. Um, it weighs in at 5.4 ounces or 153 grams. Um, so it's a little bit heavier, but it's not too bad. I don't really notice it too much in my pocket. Um, some size comparisons. We have the Rat Model 1. Line up the pivots. And the Model 2. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the rat one just slightly smaller but it's overall pretty close in the same size as that it has a blade steel of S90V um, the handle is, is titanium with carbon fiber inlays it has a milled pocket clip which is fairly deep carry um, your pocket would slide into right about here so you really only have about that much sticking out of the pocket it's really not that bad for the overall size of the knife it's kind of surprising actually now this brings me to the action the action is super smooth really nice action on it it's running on ceramic ball bearings so it's really smooth now I think I could get it to be drop shut if I took it apart and cleaned it up a bit because there was quite a bit of oil in this so it probably just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, some things I like about the knife and some things I don't like about the knife. One thing I really liked about the knife was the price. It was $125. That's a crazy good deal for the uh, materials used in this and the overall like fit and finish of this knife that's an insane price. Um, just to look at like the tolerances on it like look how tight that is like even where the screws go in there that's just like milled out it just fits in perfect same with on the back the two halves from a distance it almost looks like it's just one one piece but it's two halves put together but like really nicely done super impressed with this knife Everything's really nice. The only thing, I don't know if the camera can pick this up. Not very well. You can kind of see a little bit here. You know, that's not ideal, but whatever. Not really that noticeable. Um, uh, I guess the only thing I don't like about the knife, other than those little blemishes in the carbon fiber, like I said, it's not a big deal, but the only thing that is a little iffy is the pocket the uh pocket tab <laughs> the flipper tab uh it's got nice jimping up here so your finger gets you know good grip on it and i like the little cutout in that but it's kind of a small flipper tab it doesn't stick out real far so you don't get real good leverage on it but if you put enough pressure on it you'll always get a nice deployment out of it And like I said, it's super smooth with those bearings, really smooth. But yeah, overall, definitely worth having in your collection. It's a great knife, especially for the price. I don't think you can beat that value. S90V and the titanium with carbon fiber inlays for $125, that's pretty nice. One other thing I really like about this knife is the Ergos. Um, it's a bigger knife, obviously, so it's it really fills the hand. Uh, you can even kind of come up here a little bit. Now you kind of touch the uh, 
the edge right here but if you're careful you can come up here and choke up a little bit and do a little bit more detail work but to hold it like this super comfortable the jimping up here it's really nice this thumb fits in really nice right here locked in really well and it really fills the hand you can't feel the pocket clip you know it's there but it's definitely not a hot spot it fits right in for me it fits perfectly right in there and it just it even actually helps it lock in place even more so yeah really comfortable knife I really enjoy using this knife so those are my thoughts on the TS191 thanks again to everyone that subscribed to me so far if you're not subscribed to me make sure to subscribe I'll try to upload a few videos a week and just basically have fun with my channel thanks again for watching take care